Welcome back. The Treasury Department says 80 million people should be receiving stimulus payments via direct deposit this week. And for many, that money can't come soon enough. Some people say they checked their accounts yesterday to find they had already received the money from the IRS. Most individuals will be receiving $1,200 as part of the $2 trillion CARES Act that passed in March. And speaking of stimulus checks, many of you have asked about the money involved. So today, I spoke with Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz, who also answered other questions. Congressman Ruiz, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, good to be here. I want to start by asking you about the stimulus checks. Some checks are starting to arrive in bank accounts, but is there a way for people who have not received their money yet to track it? Uh, so far there's not, but on April 17th, I've been told that the IRS will have a portal uh, on their website, uh, irs.gov forward slash coronavirus forward slash economic impact payments, where people will begin to be able to track their checks. Oh, good. Okay. Meanwhile, the number of job claims is now soaring. Do you see a light at the end of the tunnel? You know, it's very difficult to see a light at the end of the tunnel when so many are losing their jobs and, and we know that they're going through a terrible time. Um, however, I do see a, a light at the end of the tunnel because we're starting to see in California that the rate of transmission is decreasing. And I've said from the beginning that, that our economic recession and impact is directly proportional or, or not directly related to the rate of transmission uh, and therefore we know that if we're doing a good job with social distancing and we're decreasing that rate of transmission uh, then we're going to be able to go back to work sooner than if that rate of transmission was still going up dramatically exponentially high. And switching gears now, Congressman, I'm sure you've probably heard, there's an interesting controversy right now involving a large furniture store in Indio, Mathis Brothers. They just reopened believing that their business qualifies as an essential business. The county disagrees, and I know that you're from the federal level, but what is your perspective? Well, you know, I can understand from the company who has the concern over their employees uh, and their business. Uh, it's, it's not easy to follow the stay at home order. Uh, having said that, uh, right now the rate of transmission is still growing. We have not reached our peak uh, and therefore all non-essential businesses should follow the county's orders. And currently it's the county uh, who defines what's non-essential and if they say that they're non-essential then it is not only a, a, a legal matter following the county and the state's orders but in terms of public health it, it's a prudent and wise order to ensure that that if we are going to start the stay at home uh, uh, lifting the stay at home orders that we do it in the safest way. Congressman, some of our viewers would like us to specifically ask you about the airport in Palm Springs. Are there any monitoring or quarantine requirements for people arriving here from potentially anywhere in the world? And if not, should there be? Well, the, currently the requirement is that if an individual traveler arrives from a known hotspot internationally, that they get placed into a 14-day quarantine. Now, the question is, how do we implement that order in terms of the quarantining an individual for 14 days? How do we identify that individual? Because we will be more vulnerable again because we're such a tourism hotspot. So those states that do not have aggressive stay-at-home orders, those states that still have a rapid rise and, uh, and, and that will see higher rates of coronavirus, if we're starting to get visitors from those states, then we should also take that into consideration and that's that will start to happen during the tourism season in October November when we know that the virus will still be around all right congressman Ruiz thank you so much for joining us thank you